Now, utility ring. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Your dryer has two vents on it. One is on the actual dryer itself. The other one is connected from the house going out to the roof. The one that's on the dryer you clean out after every use or before the one that you put in because the last person forgot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this one here, you need to clean out periodically. The maintenance will tell you depending on the usage, but it says anywhere from once a year or twice a year. Right. Okay. So do you just have to move the whole dryer out to yeah. access well, this thing? A dryer, a dryer is not that heavy. Okay. The wash machines are heavier, but a dryer yeah. really isn't is that heavy. Yeah. Okay. But you're gonna have to take the attachment off. Right. And they sell a tool that you can buy that basically has like a duster on one end mm -hmm. and it has attachments to extend it. I put it in my Amazon list <laughs> because I was watching the video. I was so, doing my research. Do those. Because they said yeah. that causes the most house fires mm -hmm. is yes, an uncleaned uh, dryer duct. Actually, that's number two. Number one is because people don't have working smoke detectors. My oh. mother's a firefighter, my cousin's a firefighter, my other cousin's a firefighter, blah, blah, blah. So, <laughs> now, with that being said, it's important, okay? Take a picture of this here plug. Mm -hmm. So when you buy one, you can make sure you get the right one that has the right attachment. There's not a converter that changes it from one to another, so you'd have to just buy a new plug, you know, cord, if that's the case. No, I would okay. say we already have a washer and dryer. Oh, then you're good. Hot's on the left, cold's on the right, and here's a dream. When you go to the moon and come back and you need to put water in here, some people don't want to use a small load, they want to say and conserve water, get you a funnel designated just for water. Because you're not going to be able to pour water in there. People think they can. You can't. Take your funnel, stick it in there, and pour it in there. Mm -hmm. There's a P-trap down here that you can't see behind the walls, behind mm -hmm. the sheetrock. And that's why I say you want to keep, keep clean water in there. Okay. The very first load that you run, you need to put clean water in there before you run that load. Okay. okay. And when you have it installed, take your cold water line, hook it up here. Run the other end here, turn it on for about three seconds, turn it right back off, then hook it up to the washer and you're done. And I'm talking about now put that clean water in there. Okay. Okay? And then this is the ERV that actually brings air into the house or it takes it out. So it's not good to keep this closed. So we want to leave this open all the time. All the time. Okay. We'll just put a big gate on it. Okay. So you can add that. All right? Questions so far? Mm hmm Now you want to get hot first or you want to... Stay in the AC and then go get hot and then come back. No, let's just do this. Okay. We're here. Let's go with the flow.